Hello everyone, this is Warmac9. Welcome back once again to FTB episode number 10, or Found the Baby But We Lost the Baboon. Uh, previously, in episode number 9, we went ahead and we made some solar panels. I went ahead and finished out my solar panels. Oh my god, my frame rate. Finished out the, the five solar panels that I was basically starting to do. I also stuck a generator over here and our MFE is filling, which is awesome. Uh, in addition to that, I kind of rearranged all my uh, machines in here and went ahead and set up some redstone engines. That way I can automate some production levels, but not everything is quite to, to full production yet. This is just really, really basic right now. It's not quite what I had in mind. I learned something when I was putting this together, though, is that one redstone pipe, or uh, a redstone-fueled gold pipe... I guess it's not redstone at all anymore, it's just gold pipe. You normally would use these to speed up the process of uh, something coming through here. If you just have one, it doesn't speed up the item. You need multiple. Two gets it to about its original speed, but three puts it at something near light speed. I, d I don't even know, it just goes stupidly fast from point A to point B. Um, I also learned that there is no rotary macerator in the Direwolf FTB pack. If I type in mace... I only have the one macerator, so I'm kind of at a at a loss in terms of what I can do for this guy. I suppose I can stick in a couple stacks of uh, of overclockers just to get this thing working a little bit better, but it's going to be almost a, a perpetual drain on this guy. Also, I had to run some uh, gold cable, as you can see back here, to get this little guy right here, the uh, low voltage transformer, and then from there into my bat box which is just what I'm using for interior machines. Everything outside is going to be with the uh, the medium voltage of my MFE, which is, uh, you know, just for convenience sake, going to be like right there. I still have it exposed right here. I haven't buried that. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm really out of sleep. Um, but yeah, that's basically all that's accomplished between a uh, previous episode and this episode. Let's see what the, uh, the plant over here is doing. It's starting to look more like a potato than anything. I don't know about that. I do still have a couple more uh, engines on hand, but in this episode I really wanted to go ahead and devote those diamonds. I have a lot of diamonds. They can be a lot of use. Um, however, my biggest benefits that I could possibly get from them this second is going to be either having something like a mining turtle or having something like a quarry. The quarry seems like something that's much, much closer within my grasp that requires less effort because I can power a quarry with redstone engines, I can power a quarry with sterling engines, and I can manage to get a lot out of it without having to put a lot in. Whereas a mining turtle, while it's a little more mobile and I can be able to take it around and put it from point A to point B to point C to wherever I need to use it, it requires coal. And it will also dump the coal from its inventory in the event that its inventory fills. So in some regards, it's a little wonky, to say the least. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to stick a quarry right over this end of this pool. I don't want it over here on this end because... Uh, this end is kind of within view of my bedroom, and I like the uh, the pretty look. I like the, the jungle atmosphere. It looks really nice, so I'm not going to ruin that by uh, sticking a quarry right in front of my bedroom window. So in that respect, I need to be able to not only put a quarry right here, but I also need to run a pipe back over this way to my house or set up some sort of means of me getting to my chest with relative ease. I'm thinking that a pipe will probably be the best bet, so that way I can continue to use quarries at that distance and maybe just run them to right over here. Uh, if that's the case, more power to me. Um, for right now, I just want to get the quarry in there, get it running, and get this thing underway. Now, the quarry is a relatively expensive machine. Wow, my lag. I'm uh, I'm going to be having quite a bit of frame rate issues on this episode, not only because I'm starting to run engines and things like that now, but because uh, I'm rendering in the background. Episode 9 is currently rendering in the background. I'm trying to record a lot of stuff for you guys all at once. That way I'm not really missing out on something for you to watch. I want to be able to give you like 30-minute increments. But even when I'm recording for only 30 minutes, it still takes 3 hours, 4 hours 
to render and then I have to upload it on top of that. So in some regards, it's, it's a very tedious process. It takes a lot of effort. But in other regards, it's very rewarding. And uh, you guys have given me lots and lots of positive feedback on uh, my 100 subscriber special. I, I cannot thank you enough for that. Um, it means a lot to me, and I, I'm really looking forward to putting out another, you know, 100 videos, 300 videos, and continue gaining subscribers because, you know, the feedback, getting to share what I'm doing with you guys is, is really what makes this worthwhile for me. Alright, so, for a quarry, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 iron gears. We need 4 gold and 2 diamond Right, so let's uh, let's steal a lot of iron out of my own chest here. Um, we're also going to need the redstone, but in order to make the iron gears, we're also going to need stone, which means we're also going to need wood, which means we're also going to need that. Meaning four sticks per one of these. We got seven of these, so 28 sticks. Is that, is that correct? I think that's correct. Hope it's correct. Let's go ahead and do that, and that, and that. And just bust out a ton of gears 24 very close no cigar 3 4 should be about that indeed that should be do that and that and that and that and there we go we have 28 gears uh, now we're also going to need cobblestone my cobblestone I don't keep in my machine room here I keep them all over here so we're going to go ahead and take out a couple stacks of cobblestone I'm going to throw in some coal coke because I don't need that on hand right this second don't want to put away my cables because you know me I will forget where I put my cables and I'll take that back I'll throw them in this machine or this chest the catch-all or chest I'm gonna need to upgrade my, my uh, chest eventually as well so that's something to look forward to and that's that boom 28 stone gears and we'll do that and that and that and boom and boom Boom, boom. 28 iron gears. Let's set aside three. Let's collect my gold. Not not, not more iron. Don't need more iron. Let's collect... Uh, go ahead and take it out, though. Um, go ahead and collect my gold for these guys. Go boom, kaboom, 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 like so. Don't know what all else I'll need gold gears for. I'd probably be unfortunate enough to not need it in anything. Uh, looks like I can also use it for a filler, which that's kind of nice. Use something to, uh, to possibly fill in the area after I'm uh, done destroying everything. All right, and then we need two diamond gears. If I make excess, I suppose I could always uh, revert into making multiple quarries and just massing stuff. But once I get to a point like that, I'm really gonna need. Yeah, I totally overmade my uh, overmade my stuff there. Oh well. Let's uh, throw that up there, throw that right there. Let's take the sticks. We'll do two sticks, three diamonds, diamond pick. Go ahead and take the diamond pick, put it at the bottom, diamond gears, two gold gears, three iron gears, and redstone. We have a quarry. Actually, we have, uh, we're one diamond short from being able to do a second thing here. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Next, we need some sterling engines, and I didn't need to do that. I needed to type down here, engine. So that way we can go ahead and get this guy rolling. We have this. Uh, for sterling engines, I find that if you use one, you're getting about one ore per second with a quarry. If you're using two, it's it's close to about an ore and a half, but that seems to be as fast as it ever goes for me. Um, for this, we're going to need another two stone gears. We're going to need a piston, some glass, and some cobblestone. Now, I've already made all my gears up into iron, but I do still have plenty of wood on hand. I'm sitting in the middle of a forest. There's no reason I shouldn't have any wood. So we'll go ahead and do this for my wood gears, and then we'll coat those in cobblestone for the stone gear. And then we will take some more cobblestone, a little bit of redstone, like so, a iron ingot, and a set of wood across the top for a basic piston, just like I did with all my redstone engines. And then we'll stick this right here. We'll stick a bit of glass on top of that. Three cobblestone. 
and where'd my stone gears? Have? Two stone gears and a partridge in a pear tree. I do need a lever as well, or a lever, depending on your pronunciation. Uh, let's go ahead and make one more sterling engine just for the safe side. Because these guys are, to be fair, they're pretty invaluable. Um, sterling engines put out at a total of uh, one EU a tick, so they're a lot faster in uh, terms of producing stuff. I've probably already covered all this at one point in time. Um, they're a lot faster for putting out energy, but the downside to them is that they are uh, significantly more cost intensive than redstone engines. Now I know you can hook up engines to an engine, like uh, have this one pumping into the back of this one, but I don't know how well that affects it, or if it affects it in any sort of positive or negative light at all. So that's that's kind of a, a curiosity. I'm not sure if it funnels the energy into that engine or if there's any sort of energy loss associated with that. Um, I don't know. If you guys happen to know, let me know down in the comment section below on whether or not there's energy loss when you hook up pistons to pistons or engines to engines, excuse me. Because uh, I'd like to be able to know if I could just stick engines in a row rather than having to run them all in a corner section like this. I it can be a little less convenient like that. Now I'm making a piston right here because I keep forgetting what I'm doing while I'm doing it, which is a uh, not a good sign. A little under caffeinated today. Go ahead and make that. Go ahead and make another two gears on the side of this. No, I do not want to play Borderlands. To oh, I I have a friend that is uh, pretty consistently asking me to play Borderlands 2. And while it's a fun game, it gets a little boring at times, and uh, I think he's beginning to realize that. Uh, in any case, we have all of that. Let's make uh, two chests just to start storing stuff while I clear a tunnel. Oh my god, this latency. This, this lag that I'm getting. When I'm rendering it, it takes up basically 100% of the bandwidth on my computer. It's not a big deal. It's perfectly fine by me. Um, by bandwidth, I mean CPU bandwidth, the actual processor running things. But it, it's it's a little difficult when I want to be able to record multiple things at a time. Um, since I'm starting a new job soon, hopefully I can do something like uh, get a nice new CPU and uh, run a second computer with uh, my rendering software on it and then just do that by itself. That's all it's going to do. And then have this computer for recording, and that computer for rendering, or vice versa. Um, if I do one computer for rendering, I'm going to want the one with the more processing power, whereas this one's kind of running on an older i5. It's not horrible, but it's a dual core acting like a quad core, and um, it's, it's just not going to be as effective as something with a quad core, or even something with a six core. Um, like a... a AMD Black Series or any of the higher end i7s. The moral of the story is I'd really like to get to something that I could be able to use and be able to be like, yeah, I've got no problem rendering. I can render a 30 minute video in 30 minutes and then get it uploaded. And uh, that's, that's a, a, it's on the horizon. It's not here yet, but it's on the horizon. Speaking of my, uh, my new job at my new position, um, it starts up on December 7th, which is going to be a pretty good start time for me. My friend is coming out to see me. I haven't seen my buddy and uh, my brother from another mother in, like, years. I mean, this guy is, uh, we went to middle school, we went to high school. Um, we've known each other just a really long time. But I moved out into uh, the Midwest some time ago, and uh, we haven't really seen each other since we play games every now and then he's the one that's asking me to play borderlands right now but we just finished like the uh scarlet's revenge what have you the the scarlet uh dlc and it was uh it was fine and all but it it was kind of dull and uh yeah that was kind of the thing i was like well that was fun but uh I don't really want to play more of that quite yet. And uh, because I'm rendering in the background, playing something that's that graphically intensive as well as CPU intensive, it, it probably would not benefit me much to 
use this while using that or, or rendering something in the background while playing that. Now these Sterling engines don't seem to be uh, running this thing as quickly as I recall them doing it, but maybe I was running three for the initial build. The uh, the basic build here is, is all free and you get these little uh, structure things here. Um, I noticed in the 1.4.2 version when I was testing a lot of my stuff before starting my FTB series that these will automatically decay in the event that you uh, knock out the quarry. And I'm hoping that's still the case for this. Now I've just got this little chest set up right here for the time being, but uh, I plan on running my quarry system off in that direction. So once I'm done here, I'll go further that way and then further on and further on and so on. All the way until I have everything. So let's see how far off of uh, my shelving this is. It's not too terribly far. Also, I made a uh, an iron handsaw previously because I was trying to work out a, uh, a slightly better configuration for these uh, these piping systems so I could automatically fuel stuff in that required uh, extraction but I kinda hit a snag and didn't finish mostly the fact that I started chopping up wood to use them on paneling on the side of this or on the side of the panel paneling on the side of this for whatever reason I can't get it to attach like it's an interior surface facing this giving it a nice smooth finished outside so it sits on the face of it so it's like I have a bulge coming out this way when I'm placing it against the surface of this and it, it's kinda crappy because I can't use it to divide the pipe system here from right here say if I wanted to put in a sorter right here and then feed it down here I'd have to use stone pipe right here or uh, let's say I wanted to use a um, uh, wooden pipe for extracting right here and to run it over into my chest as well I'd have to put it on the side somewhere and let's say I only had this side available because I had another machine right here or something I can't put a panel right here and then put the pipe right here it's not gonna work It's just like no this panel can't even fit here with the pipe in the same space so I think something's been changed around between those things it could just be that industrial craft really needs to hit that uh that next update or it could be that um or excuse me i think these are build craft pipes it could be that the uh red power needs to hit its next update or something i'm not really sure but uh it is daytime right now let's go ahead i need to really fence off that little area um i've got a shovel i've got a pickaxe i was going to do something special but i cannot recall what it is so i don't care what it is now I'll go ahead and throw some glass into the furnace though because I will need glass and uh, you guys will get to see that stuff whip on out right here for this first piece it's kinda of slow moving initially I don't ever see them when they're in their uh, uh, wooden portion right here but right there you can see it come out and then it gets a little faster and a little faster still and it even like bugs out because it's going so fast but it eventually arrives over here in this chest which is where we need it so cool uh, let us go ahead and make a couple more sets of cobblestone piping because I shall need the cobblestone piping as well as let us go and dig forth um, I think since that's going to be the edge I'll put in the uh, the boxings like right here and we'll kind of dig down and over uh, I should really go ahead and just throw a waypoint and I can find my way to the waypoint sort of thing. So I want this stuff to be buried just in case of a, a creeper or such. Um, we'll try and make it to like right here. And throw in waypoint. Waypoint A. And uh, yeah, I don't care that it's pink. That's fine. Pink is a uh, plenty appropriate color for waypoints. And we are back up here. Let's go ahead and dig into the side of this guy here. Yeah. Again, I apologize that my uh, frame rate seems a little less consistent than it normally is. Again, that is because I am rendering in the background. Once I get underground and get kind of some of the objects off screen, it, uh, it seems to be picking up and I'm back to about my normal 35 frames, which is what I limit my, uh, my fraps to. Uh, I don't know why I limit it to that. It seems to look better whenever I'm actually looking at it in preview on my Sony Vegas. But say if I was, uh, ooh, ten. Ooh, water. What is this? Just an underground hole with a creeper. 
And other friends. Okay, that's that's no fun. No fun, no fun. No fun. Get away, get away, get away. I could not even hear these guys. You guys probably hear me clicking a storm up here. But we got zombies, we got skeletons. I didn't know this cave was here, so this is kind of uh, unfortunate for me. Why is he not hitting the skeleton with those arrows? Jesus. Alright, and you die too. And a squid. Got the squid. The most dangerous creature in here. Just stick itself to my face. Uh, yeah. Now, I, I swear I thought I'd heard some water around this area before, but I suppose I should really keep my headset on if I'm recording. That way I actually know that there's enemies afoot. Go ahead and put that there. I suppose this is uh, worthwhile information to know that this little hole is here. But this wasn't quite what I was looking for. <laughs> As you'll probably no doubt know. Uh, I guess for all practical purposes I could go ahead and widen this. And I'll just make this into a, uh, a feature instead of a inconvenience. And say, okay, well I can come down here and uh, collect water if I need a little additional water and I'm outside here. Plus, I guess it could always allow me to do underground maintenance if I needed maintenance on my piping system. So I'll just go ahead and widen this slightly to uh, continue laying the pipe out. No jokes, please. Keep going this way. I am very looking forward to the quarry, though. Um, I'm placing the quarry on the north side of my house, even though it's uh, quite quite jungle infested, and that's no problem. Um, it's actually going to be the side of my uh, world that has been the least explored. If you ever notice, when in my earlier episodes, I was typically under the desert when I was uh, mining and exploring. And that's good. That's that's awesome. That's not very many resources on the top ground. I could basically just hollow the whole thing out if I want to. However, because I have uh, changed my mod pack slightly from the basic FTB 1.4.2 build to this... Uh, Feed the Beast Direwolf 20 pack, I'm uh, actually running with a significantly different setup kind of thing, um, if that makes any sense. I'm I'm doing, uh, did I carry my gold pipe? I didn't carry my gold pipe on me. Gosh darn it. Um, because I'm running with the Direwolf 20 pack, there's a lot of additional new uh, ores and things that might have not been rendered or spawned into my world naturally. And because I've already hollowed out so much of those cave systems, it's uh, it'd be a little bit more beneficial to have those new ores generated somewhere that I haven't seen yet. So I've uh, I've ran out this way a very very short distance to to get a, a basic feel of the, uh, the lay of the land, which the majority of it is tada jungle um but it, it gives me some idea of where i'm able to go as well as uh where i haven't already explored and i can get fresh materials and i can make sure i'm getting all my materials everything that should be worth it for me is coming to me now i don't know why this thing is going so slow sterling engines were not quite this slow when i tested them before Maybe that was a uh, balance adjustment to Sterling Engines for the uh, Direwolf 20 mod pack. In which case, this thing is only slightly faster than Redstone Engines by its basic movement right here. The uh, the arm is moving from point to point a little bit quicker, but it's it's not mining that much faster. Maybe that's a change to the quarry that I'm unaware of as well, so I don't know there. That's, uh, that's kind of weird, kind of bizarre. Uh, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to throw that in there. Looks like uh, I'm not seeing my ore pass through this thing for whatever reason. Is it still receiving? Yes, it's still receiving. Okay, and uh, next I'm going to go ahead and run out the pipe for this. As well as, uh, let's throw a torch over here because I, I don't want stuff spawning on me while I'm standing here. That would kind of suck. Uh, we haven't gotten anything worthwhile. No. No, nothing worthwhile quite yet. Just gonna kind of run this pipe on back through here. And again, this is uh, more or less just me making the repository for where everything's going a little bit more convenient. Once I get enough resources, I can start 
putting together some sort of uh, filtering and uh, auto sorting system where whatever's coming in through this line is going to go ahead and direct into the appropriate machine. So copper ores, raw ores, things like this would go directly into where they need to be. Whereas uh, things like, uh, I should drop this a little bit. Where's, where'd he go? There he is. Uh, things like gems and stuff do not necessarily need to be macerated. So those would be excluded from that particular sort and go into, say, a different chest or a different resource entirely. All right, and we have these, and we'll throw in another gold for good measure, and we'll keep going this way. And that happened because I had a torch behind me and I thought I was placing it on the face of the torch. Like so, like so, like so. I should really put in some uh, torches up there too. I haven't even gotten around to that yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and uh, sleep because monsters don't seem to spawn in the treetops, and the canopies, the leaves, what I've what I've said before, but they will spawn on the uh, the flat areas and especially the unlit areas. So you gotta kind of cover the bases for that at least. Ah, oh, these frame rates, these frame rates. She is killing me. Uh, oh, I do have coal right here. Good for me. As you can see, my electric rinse here is uh, it's in lossless mode currently. However, that also means that it just burns so much. So much of it is just absolutely lost. Um, the lossless mode can be accessed on the uh, the electric wrench by holding down M and then uh, right-clicking, just like a mining laser. But... Lossless mode also means that it's going to burn a equivalent amount of energy based on what you're actually using it from. So like the macerator right here actually takes like 9,000 EU just to burn it, which is ridiculous, absolutely nuts. And I'm like, oh my God, why does it cost so much? But the best thing I can actually determine that it requires that much is because there's no higher level macerator, and I suppose they're trying to keep it from being too overly simplified, because you're getting double for every ore you put in. That's that's kind of awesome, but it's also kind of really cheap. Um, kind of like EE had been adjusted to be a lot more... less EE, if that makes any sense. It, it was far, far too easy for most people to be able to just go in there and have like this ridiculously massive amalgamation of matter and resources because they just spent like three four hours in ee and all of a sudden had everything it doesn't take long to get to the nether and that's why i suppose ee is no longer with us is uh at least in its previous state ee2 state so uh, i'm popping back down over here and we're gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and stein this guy run it over this way break this chest. Uh, I guess I could do it with a real tool. I think it works better with an axe. Yeah, it probably works better with an axe. I was also kind of hoping that that stuff would have stayed in there, but uh, it didn't. Now, I did still have a couple more diamonds left over, as we've uh, no doubt already seen. Uh, ooh, this guy, he's not going too, too slow, and I'm still getting plenty of resources at a uh, relatively decent rate, so I'm, I'm going to take that as a win. It could also be going slow because my uh, my CPU is dropping frames like a boss, and uh, I'm like running anywhere between 30 to 7, so that, that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, kind of sucks. But on the plus side, this... This uh, chest right here is going to receive everything that I need it to receive right there and there. And uh, I've got another two chests here, but I don't really have any use for them quite yet. So I'm just going to throw them in there. Um, for right now, that's going to be where the things are returning to until I can make some better chests. Uh, in the meantime, we can throw this copper in here. And we have clay. Um, clay can also go into the electric furnace. However, I don't want things to back up because uh, this is such a tight system it's like directly coming out of the macerator right into the furnace so I can't really throw the clay in there unless I throw it in in block form and then have it go into the, the furnace here um, I do think there is still an induction furnace in game so I should be able to make something like that let's see induction 
Indeed there is, an induction furnace and an induction smelter. Uh, the smelter is a, uh, it's kind of an odd one. It can produce additional things called slag. This is from uh, thermal expansion, and I will end up covering quite a bit of that once I have uh, a lot more resources and things set up. Um, but that's mostly because I want to be able to show you guys all the different things we could do, but we're getting there legitimately. This is kind of a, a procedural sort of thing. We're going to do everything by hand and then eventually get there by hand. Um, I don't know if that means as much to you as it does to me, but I think that's, uh, I think that's a really good stance to take on this, and I think that that's going to get us the best enjoyment out of the series. Uh, right here I'm going to make a couple water cells, and we're going to go fill these suckers, because uh, I need to make some overclockers, and uh, that'll help out my macerator substantially. So we're just going to go ahead and fill this guy right here. Takes a second, but it's uh, it's not too bad. I guess I could go ahead and start doing some things with thermal expansion in the near future, things like a uh, aqueous accumulator, which automatically generates water. It generates water faster if you have it next to a source water block. Um, or I could do things like uh, some uh, the magma crucible, or the what is the one that makes the uh, the thing igneous incinerator or igneous something? It's a uh, it's a tool for oh can I can I put that back? I cannot put that back. I got a water bucket over here somewhere. Disappoint. I accidentally pulled two and it didn't refresh in time because, again, my computer's kind of like, no, you're doing too much stuff. Sadly, that's the uh, that's the way it goes when you're rendering, though, is that uh, renders will oftentimes take up a lot of processing power of a computer. And, yeah, I, I don't really have much choice. If I, if I want to render, it has to happen in the background kind of thing. Especially if I want to keep being able to produce videos for you guys, I have to have it where I can do it in the background while I'm still able to record and keep making content. Keep staying up with you guys, so that way I can at least give you something every day. Something to, to watch and enjoy, have some entertainment. Have some informative discussion, informative dialogue, that kind of stuff. Alright, um, this is not actually what I was planning on producing this second. I wanted to make some overclockers. So let's let's have a look at this overc. We need some 10k coolant cells, which require 10 ingots, a water can or a water bottle or a water bucket or a water cell or a water compressed, and uh, some additional tin. So it's just basically wrapping that tin in tin, and then we throw in a electronic circuit and two copper cables. So it looks like it doesn't require the compressor, no, the extractor that the previous coolant cells used to require, which is kind of odd. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't need it, but uh, then again, at the same time, I guess I can't really give you a reason why you should require it. Also, I need to find some chickens. I haven't really looked at my cows in a few days, and I'm sure they're just over there dying of uh, overpopulation. Uh, let's see. I need something. I need refined iron, which I have some of. I have this. I need my cables. Uh, we have more cables on hand, and we have plenty of rubber, so let's go ahead and make a little bit more cables, because I need to make a lot of circuits. Overproducing circuits is not really something I think you can do in this, in this mod setup, because uh, you're always going to need these things. Eight sounds like a good even number. Go ahead and pop out eight of those. And uh, next we need two cables, electronic circuit, and then three of those. So one of these, and we gotta wrap that with 10. Ooh, means I need to swipe more 10. That's something I really hope I get a lot of when we're uh, using the quarry, and, uh, and that's gonna be 10. I, I simply just don't have enough of it. There's not enough going around, I guess. Ooh, um, throw out the empty cells, more tin. Throw out the empty cells, more, more tin. Throw out, throw, throw, throw them out. Okay, I'll just do it that way. And, um, one, two, three. And we'll stick in this guy here, and these two here. Boom, we have one of those, 
one, two, three. One of those, and need one more. Uh, let's grab another water cell, encase it in tin. Another 10k coolant cell, throw that up there, throw that up there, throw that up there. Don't need the redstone, need the electronic circuit though, throw that there. One and one, and we have a third overclocker. I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys, take the cells, these other things back out. Uh, now I don't know if it actually benefits you to run multiple like this, or what? I mean, uh, let's see how much quicker this guy goes. Oh yeah, that's pretty quicker. Uh, pretty quicker. That's pretty faster. I uh, I suppose really it's not benefiting me any to uh, refine iron again, like break it down, redo it. Um, from what I understand, it's uh, you're you're fastest when you have four overclockers, but each one of these individual slots can hold overclockers. So let's see if this goes any quicker. No, it seems to be about the same same speed. So we'll just do it this way, that's fine. Why is, why is that not pulling? Did it already pull? I I guess it already pulled. I, I don't know what happened to my tin there. Or my uh, my iron. I only see one iron bar, bar going through here. Um, oh well, that might be a, an effect of me lagging so terribly. Alright, well, I, I guess this is really going to be half the have to be the the way of the the future for me here unfortunately um i will be able to use the rest of these cells though which is going to be good um cells get used in a variety of things if i quit lagging for a second there obviously you can use liquid cells in a uh, liquid transposer but you can also use it in a pump you can use it in your electrolyzers which are required for some of the higher end machines um, you can use them for uranium as well as you know basic water cells and of course compressing compressing the cells creates a uh, compressed air cell which also gets used in uh, some really high end stuff like let's see oh it's not actually showing me what I can ba build with that I know I need it for something and I wanted to say it was like helium related but I might be still thinking in terms of Greg Tech. All right, so let's stash that stuff. Now, we are at a point where I can make some really cool stuff. I still have a couple diamonds on hand. Big plus, seven diamonds, awesome. I still have quite a bit of glass on hand. I have some tin. I can make some more batteries and kind of throw out another couple solar panels. But uh, again, you guys have already seen me do solar panels. I can do that sort of stuff off camera at worst. And uh, that's that's no big deal. Something I can handle really quickly, really easily, be done with it. But we do have quite a bit of diamonds, and we can go ahead and start making something a little bit different that you guys haven't seen yet. So to that end, I am going to leave you with this teaser that the next episode, we are either going to be making one of a few different things. We are either going to go ahead and produce myself a nano suit, so I have a full set of armor that gives me lots of additional little benefits of basically being indestructible, or we are going to go ahead and produce something along the lines of a mining laser, or if we make a mining laser, we're also going to include with it a electric jetpack, or we're going to make a mining drill in addition to uh, not necessarily advanced uh, uh, diamond drill, but just, you know, a regular diamond drill. Um, in addition to a uh, lap pack. So, which it is going to be has yet to be determined, but uh, I think I'm, I'm kind of making one big step per episode, and that's kind of where I want to be, is I want to be able to show you guys one really cool feature, one cool thing that I can do at least, at the very minimum, every episode without me having to be underground and mining all the time because uh, personally I think those were some of my weaker episodes is obviously the starting episodes but Minecraft, like many games, takes a little time to ramp up and uh, the beginning episodes are always a little bit slower because you have to take that time to get those resources I might go ahead and just throw another two engines on this sucker because it doesn't feel like it's going as fast as it should be going and that's kind of concerning so yeah, that's uh, that's really gonna do it for me today. 
I cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in. You guys mean so much just for watching, and I will uh, have to keep putting out videos for you guys. As long as you guys want to keep watching my stuff, I will keep playing, I will keep uploading, and you guys will keep seeing this stuff from me. Uh, once again, this has been Warmac9, and I'll see you next time.